We interviewed Kathleen Prout, the assistant director of fraternity and sorority life at Bradley University. The discussion revolved around the decline in recruitment numbers and how Bradley's Greek life is trying to adjust to it. So for Panhellenic recruitment, um, we had maybe a 50-person deficit um, when it came to um, the total number of women who um, prioritized on Sunday. It's called a Membership Recruitment Acceptance Binding Agreement, MRABA. Um, that is really where um, the commitment comes in for sorority recruitment. Um, so we had um, about 50 less women um, signing that. However, we did have a higher placement rate. So we had like a 99% placement rate um, for, for bids in comparison to some other years. Um, so, you know, good and bad on both sides. When we talk about IFC, um, we did have less men signing up. Um, and then this year they had some new rules when it came to um, encouraging men to go through formal recruitment rounds, um, which is that Saturday and Sunday. Um, they were working with the chapters to ensure that um, men were not necessarily being recruited for only one chapter. And so men were only eligible to accept bids for Anadexis, their bid days, if they attended um, formal weekend rounds. Um, this was the first year, so there is obviously some flexibility. Um, so that may have had something to do with but it. Overall, nationally, um, fraternities and sorority headquarters are reporting that we should be seeing about a 4% decline every single year. Um, so sometimes we may be a little bit, you know, uh, more than that curve or less than that curve. Um, there were less women in this incoming freshman pled, uh, in freshman class. It was more of a 50% ratio between men and women, which has not happened for many years. There's usually always more women. Um, so there were potentially a little bit less women involved in sorority recruitment. Um, don't really have a, a reasoning why there were less men um, when we had more men actually at Bradley for the freshman class. Um, so that was kind of some of the factors of the why um, when it comes to the lower numbers. Friends and sororities were used to men and women saying, I want to join you. They didn't really necessarily have to work too hard at the like, come meet me, come you know, figure out who I am. Um, and so that's not the case anymore. And so a lot of our fraternities and sororities are having to relearn how to actually recruit, that it's not the rush process, it's not about you know, the biggest party you throw or the best, you know, food that you have at an event, that it is more about um, seeing that return of investment since there is a financial pa package to joining a fraternity and sorority, how that return of investment of four years equals to outward past graduation. If the chapters continue their self-destructive path of not being open to change, we won't, we'll be spending so much time on that that we won't be able to really focus on the good and doing good and getting the goodwill back in the university um, to be able to continue to welcome more people. Um, so I think while, you know, they say continue to expect, you know, those trends, I think we have a way of being able to level it off if everyone's willing to work for it.